So if you guys seen my last week's video where I did She's All That, if you haven't seen it, I will put it at the end of this video somewhere up here around here. Go check that out. But last week I accidentally subscribed to Stars for the whole month. So since I'm subscribed to Stars already, we're going to take advantage of it. And they just recently added one of my childhood movies that I have not seen for, it had to be at least over a decade. What I am talking about, you read the title so you guys already know, but I am, re I am watching and commentating on Leave It to Beaver, all right? This is the first time since I've seen it in a long time, so I figured instead of watching it on my own, I might as well just capture it and make it a video for you guys for this Saturday's video. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys got your snacks ready. Let's get into this movie. Y'all really don't understand. I can't wait until I can cancel this. <laughs> I really bought it on accident. Hey, fun fact, no one asked, but uh, I actually learned how to make this logo in my 3D animation class, like when I was in high school, years ago. Hello, Beaver. Hi, Wally. Oh, snap, that's the dude from Brink. Morning, Bird. Hello, Mrs. Brown, how are you? Great day, isn't it? Yo, since when was there a pie man that drove around the neighborhood delivering pies like milk? And why ain't his pies covered up? That is a liability issue. Bro, they haven't read the paper in months. Why he gonna do that to my uncle? This is that like Leave It to Beaver, Dennis the Menace collaboration. Who came first? Leave It to Beaver or Dennis the Menace? Oh. Yeah, that was a smart idea. Hit the brakes really hard. Sorry, mister. That was the first one I missed all day. Huh. He's lying. That man got on the let me speak to your manager outfit. Goodness gracious. I am the owner of. <laughs> there it is. The most beautiful thing I ever seen. An eight year old's dream. Not no more. See how fast I can make you cry. <laughs> See how fast I can make you cry. <laughs> you want advice on how to get a bike? Ask the master. How will I know when I see the master? Because he's wearing what I'm wearing. Yo, this kid thinks he's so cool. Dad, Dad. Fish can even say hi? Wow, he did his mom like that? Hi, when's dad coming home? Maybe I'll just wait for him outside. Beaver, is there something I can help you with? Oh no, mom, I'm not supposed to be sucking up to you. Uh, sexist? Much? Here, dad, let me help you with your junk. Did you do something wrong, Beaver? Gee, dad, how come whenever I act nice, people think I've done something wrong? Because you acted suspicious. You want to play football? What was that look? For real, y'all? Out of here! Beaver. This man really trying to live his pipe dream through his son. Oh, and make me the bad guy. Moms ain't having that. They're already talking about stuff from the past that they're still ticked off about. Look me in the eyes and tell me that you're doing this because it's in your son's best interest. He's not. And not fulfill some lingering adolescent fantasy of yours? He is. Hit! Hit! That man is way too small to be playing football. Look at the rest of the team and look at him. Don't think Cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> we go to him. We go to him. This, you, you you to to this play is still coming. I'm not a visual person. Like, we got to be hands on with the way that I learn. You can't tell me something and think I get it. I really won't. There's got to be an easier way to get a bike. You know, you took some licks, but you didn't quit. Your mom and I just want you to know how proud we are of you. Oh, man. You know, I always said football is a real confidence builder. You know, back when I was playing Sandlot, I found that I learned a great many. Yeah, Dad, we're tired of hearing your shoulda, coulda, woulda stories, bro. You shoulda made it happen, you bum. If a guy's too old to be read to, then he's probably too old to kiss goodnight to. He's shutting all of it down. All of it. He going for that handshake like he a stranger. Good night, Pops. I see you in the morning at breakfast. You still making me breakfast, right? Because I'm not, I don't, I don't want to be that old. I still need you to cook for me. But he don't know how to feel. His body built like an action figure. Happy birthday to all that 49ers, man. This Buffalo Bills over here, if you didn't know. Why no? Yo, Grams ain't having it. Grams is not having it. Put together a little photographic compilation of my future soulmate. Oh, here goes another stalker. Oh my gosh. You might want to back off a little bit, huh? Thank you, Peeper. Mom, Dad, can we open the person's snow? Please, 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 please. You, you really should monitor the boy's sugar intake. Look at Grandma Hayden. Yo, oh, it's a football theme party, so all the kids got on football shirts and hats. I'm just now seeing that. Not one Buffalo Bill, though. I am upset. Wow. A computer. 
<laughs> he said, wow, that's what she said. Boo! Cut that out! Whoa. Whoa. Wally looked like all he do is tell on people. Oh, he got his bike. Hey, small things, Dad, you're the best experience in the whole universe. I remember when riding bikes used to be fun. These kids don't get on bikes no more. Now it's like, you got the newest iPhone? Is this uh -oh. a baby? I'll do my homework every day without you guys having to crawl up my ass. <laughs> Wait, what? A-N-D-E-R-S. Uh-uh, these kids is bad. Hi, Miss Landers. This summer, we went to Mount Rushmore, and then my grandmother died. Everyone was sad, except my dad, because she always said he never made enough money. What? Look at... Oh, my God. Y'all better watch what y'all tell y'all kids. This summer, my parents shipped me off to camp, and when I got back, my dad had moved out. He moved back, but he's still sleeping in my room, and I'm sleeping on the couch. What the f***? Why does his story have to be his dad left and came back? This summer I got an awesome bike. My brother snuck me into an R-rated movie and nobody in my family died. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is dressed like the worst. I own a bowling alley. Sometimes I work on the weekend at Olive Garden Headass. Hey, can't you read? No dogs allowed. This is for mature audiences only. I ain't through a lamppost and I'm gonna bring my bowl of kibble. <laughs> Yo, this kid really thinks he's funny. You just stand there and laugh and shake your head like, where the heck does he come up with this stuff? I know, that's what we all thinking. Take another step, and I'll file a restraining order. Hey, aren't you Wally Cleaver? Oh, you see how she changed up? We just came to say hi. Oh, she choosing. Choice wheels. Thanks, I got it by lying to my dad. Wow. That don't even look like him. You could tell that's somebody else. I remember being so impressed as a kid watching this. He could have stole my bike. I got a few more tricks. Really? Cool, can you show me? I got one you'll never forget. Awesome, dude. Yo, that is the hardest. Yo, this man killed that. I ain't never seen no one hit nothing like that till this day. This day. To this day. Now nah, you ain't getting that bike back, player. You might as well forget it. Come on, baby, let's go home. I can't. <laughs> he said I can't. I got my bike jacked. Beef, how could you let that happen? I guess it's because he stole it a little bit at a time. <laughs> Yo, Beaver is smart. He may have lucked out after all. Just because he made one shot? Yo, they food? I ain't gonna hold you, look fire. What did we do after school? Wally? <laughs> he like, hey, I'm about to throw you under this bus with me. Did something happen that you don't want us to know about? My bike got stole. Stole? Beaver, how could this happen? You've only had that bike for five days. Five days? Actually, it's only been four. Well, sorry isn't going to bring back your bicycle, is it? Or your Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. <laughs> or your Game Boy. This man stay losing stuff. I'm not even going to mention the garage. Ward, the garage is not Beaver's fault. What happened in this garage? Oh, this is just another example of what happens when you're not paying attention. Isn't that right, Wally? Hello? But Dad, I didn't do anything. Big brother. Weren't you supposed to be looking after your brother today? Exactly. Yeah? Well? Yeah? Where were you when all this happened? Trying to get the thotties, Daddy. We really expected a lot more from you, Wally. Come on, Dad, but they was offering. You know? You gonna cock block me like that, Daddy? Boy, parents are weird, huh? I mess up and they get even madder at you. Wow. I'm sick of always babysitting you. And I'm sick of you always following me around. That's it, I'm telling. No, you're not telling nothing. <laughs> Yo, you see the way he jumped? You're not telling nothing. When I was growing up, I said I'd never holler at my kids like my dad did. And I did it again. That's all you do is holler. That's all you do is holler. <laughs> Yo, they fighting, fighting. This is the fight I've been looking for every movie. Uh, uh, oh, y'all about to break the, not the old school. I got it. Just gonna watch your little brother fly out the window this is why you're a terrible big brother that would be nice so the mom don't see her son hanging outside the window Come on, babe. Uh, <sighs> oh my gosh dude they're stressing me out they are stressing me out they're about to drop the old school <laughs> <laughs> Boys! Oh my, I'm sick of this kid. Fall off the skateboard, please. Fall off the skateboard. Just fall off. He 
swear, everybody watching him. The boys are grounded, so you can't come in. Do I detect the new fragrance? Thank you for noticing. Wow. You know, Mrs. Cleaver, and I say this with all due respect, for a mom, you're quite the babe. She is, though. She really is. Ah, you know how it is when you're driving on the freeway. You see an accident. You can't help but look at the wreckage. <laughs> Yo, that was actually funny. That was actually funny. Oh, the proud, loyal feel when you realize you've helped launch a successful union? And who knows, maybe she has some nice, quiet friend for you. You're not gonna sucker me into being the go-between. He suckered him. Dang, how many animals she got in that room? Boy girl party on Saturday, and I wanted to invite you. Oh, she trying to bust it wide open. Oh, he about to snake his boy. Do this. He about to snake his boy. You should have been the one talking, bro. Oh my god. He's standing right next to you, isn't he? Yeah, that, that's quite true. Now that you have my number and all, why don't you give me a call? Wow. It was great talking to you too, Karen. The worst wingman. That's what your boys will do to you if she fine. Can't trust them. When I was your age, playing Pee Wee. Dude, nobody cares about your when I was a kid story. Nobody. What are you saying? You want to quit the team? Do I? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> so you just going to stop in traffic with an attitude? Then don't be a quitter. Okay, Dad. I'll quit trying to be a quitter. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. It's the first game? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Be slow. Put the team on your back, Beaver. Put the team on your back. Oh, boy. Oh, Miss Cleaver's cookies. I love the taste. I'm talking about the cookies. You dirty minds. I'm lying. He legit just trying to make his dad proud. He don't know what he's doing out there. Son, I want you to run a strong right 28T on go. Got it? He didn't hear none of that. None of that. Tell the quarterback to play. Oh, I get it. <laughs> he forgot it that fast. Well, That's how I be, too. Uh, I'll be right back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey! Hit him with the juke! Uh, the strong right arm! Ooh! Hey, Beaver, throw me the ball! Oh no! Oh no! Got him! Got him! So none of his teammates is gonna help him up? Now that's bad sportsmanship. They ain't teaching them kids right. They just gonna leave him on the ground? Maybe if you started crying, people feel sorry for you. <laughs> Yo, these kids go hard. <laughs> he really got to sit out there by yourself? He's just a kid. You really pulled up your grade. You got a C. I did? Yeah, a C me after class. <laughs> she got jokes. She got jokes. Thank you, Judy. Bye-bye. Yeah, get your nosy ass from the door. I know what you look like when you get mad. I was there the time you caught Larry going through your purse. <laughs> be willing to help me after school more than just today? Well, if you needed to. And if I was real dumb, could we meet every Tuesday and Thursday until about 4.30? And maybe even some Saturdays, too? This guy is a con artist at seven. Now, I don't want to name any names, oh, but... Go ahead and say his name. All you want, Coach. Beaver's not here. Wow. Go ahead and say his name. He don't even care. This kid is smart. He's trying to play his dad. You're vacuuming in pearls. You know what that does to me. Stick around. Later, I'll slip into a pair of oven mitts. Now that's sexist. She gonna slip into some oven mitts and she cleaning? Yeah, you know this movie old. It would not make it today. It just wouldn't. They would cancel this movie so fast. Why she gotta be in pearls? Brother can't be two places at once. You go ahead and see Wally play, Dad. He's older than I am, so he's got a lot less games left in him. This kid is way too smart for his own good. That's very considerate of you, Beaver. Oh, yeah. I'm real snippy. Remember? That's what it said on my second grade report card. He said siderate. They called him illiterate. Hello, Mr. Haskell. Hey, Wally. <laughs> oh, my. He gets it from his dad and shoot me now. Women are all a bunch of bloodsuckers out to get you any way they can. And when they finally succeed in breaking your spirit, they'll flush you like a dead goldfish. Guy's a genius. Just kidding. Now you boys be on your way and have a great time. <laughs> you gonna calm down with your moonhead ass? I'll be waiting in the laundry room while you two budding beauties fight it out. <laughs> Tammy, you won, huh? No, I lost. 
Let's just get this over with. Do you know when to do this? Don't you? Sorta, of, but not with you. I can appreciate that. Wow. <laughs> This man is a weak flexor. He be lying. They just looking at each other the whole time. How could your friend not know that you've been scheming on him this whole time? The worst wingman. Oh, she was gonna force her big ass head in there. You know, the lights on or off? Hold up, Wally. I think maybe off is better. Uh-uh, Karen, she a thot. If I have to do this with someone. I'm glad it's with you. Glad it's someone I really like. Oh. Oh! Really? You couldn't tell? No, because I'm stupid. I was really trying not to notice because of Eddie and all. You're a good friend, Wally. No, he's not. Wally! Oh, they- Oh, they're kissing kid. Oh! Where's your parents at? Why are we able to have these parties and no parents is around? They're fogging up windows?! He got her riding on the bike. Wow! Wow! That man is scummy for that! They're walking the dogs. Yo, my man. Is Mr. Steel your girl? Theodore is my best helper. But there's a problem, isn't there, Miss Landers? So I took the liberty of discussing this matter with our principal, Mrs. Rayburn, and she would like to set up a meeting between your entire family and our district psychologist. Wow, she's saying that y'all crazy. The beaver has always shown a real interest in science. Why is she saying his name like he's a book? The beaver? I know what you're doing, and I... Well, I'm not one of those fathers. What do you mean? One of those fathers push their kids to try to fill the gaps in their own lives. June, back me up here. Well, I've always felt that eight was a little young to be playing such a violent game. Now she's selling you out. Well, let me remind you that Wally here started playing football the very same age. Wally is guilty as hell. Look at his face. I'm not who you think I am. This man is guilty. I'm a terrible person. I told you. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Because you're a scumbag. I can't go on like this any longer. Not one tear. But I won't give her up. I won't. I won't give her up. I won't. Please, continue. The whole family trip. The whole family tripping. Beaver's upstairs in his room. Yo, he got he got the mom wrapped around his finger. He better watch it. Yes, we're having a little PJ party. Now that Wallace doesn't have as much time as he used to for young Theodore, I've taken it upon myself to slip in and fill that void. That man says slip in and fill that void. Let's get something straight, Beavis. I didn't come here to have a good time. I'm just using you. Oh. <laughs> he said, oh. Karen was never interested in you at all. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Then why'd she invite me to her party? I made sure she invited you. I feel sorry for you. You're a backstabber and the lie. All right, that's it, Hask. Let's do it right now. Come on. Come on, get it out. Boy, Wally, I never knew you were such a crummy guy. Ha! <laughs> but I won't give her up. I won't. Carrot! That Kyle! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Wow, she about to choose up on you. Oh, this is my... Uh... uh this is... Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, I've been real suspicious of him since that time at the Twin Pools when he held me underwater. What the fuck? And that's why I think we should sneak off to the skating rink and spy on the little gigolo. Wow, now she's teaching. Wow. Wally got snaked after he snaked his boy. That's karma. Here's the lesson, kids. That is karma. What you reap, you will sow. Oh, come on. You a sucker. Wow, and he's a pro skater? I hope you don't mind. Kyle's really upset. And he really needs someone to talk to. Oh hell no. Nah. That's see. Y'all been making out all week. Now she kiss you on the cheek? That's the reason why he started skating. This is the reason why Brent came out. He didn't want to ice skate no more. Hey, dude. Hey, Kyle. Dig the ride. Thanks. Stole it from some kid. <laughs> oh, of course that would be one of his friends. Of course it would. So, uh, who's the Betty? Uh, just some chick. I stole it from some guy. Ah, stole her from some guy. Just educating young Theodore on the perils of teen dating. Look, my bike! Come back here! Give me that bike! Man, this fool is doing all types of tricks on your bike. Here we go. Oh. What are you boys doing here? How about you mind your business? Wally? Shh. This is a good part. Got him. Lately, he's had the same look on his face the hunchback did when Esmeralda ran off with the good. Ha ha ha! 
She just wanted to know to make sure. How evil of a person do you have to be to talk a kid into climbing up into a cup? No one's stopping this kid from climbing the roof of this building. Everyone's just gonna sit and watch him do it. Like, why would y'all wanna kill a kid like this? Like, excuse me, coach. I seem to find myself out of the loop on this one. Wow, he got you looking stupid, stupid. All these people, are, they're just, they're, no one's watching this kid climb up this cup. They're just casually drinking coffee. Oh my God. Look, look at this. This man just put his hand on his head like, oh, what can we do? How about we call the cops? <laughs> wow. No, the cops will throw my parents and then they'll find out I quit the football team. Well, if that's what you're worried about, you deserve to be seen a shrink. Wow, no, he didn't just murder him like that. Bro, you can lift yourself up like that. Pull out, get out of there. He always knows what's going on and never says nothing. He's a terrible big brother. Hi, Mrs. Cleaver. I sure hope you're in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> Why was the kid the one to call the police? It was all those adults there. And he was the one to get the cops. Hello, Beaver. You all right? Yes, sir. If it's okay, I'd rather you yelp me up here than in front of the whole town. That man has been getting child abused his whole life. It's a kind of look like you don't like what I'm doing, but you don't want to tell me. Beaver, I don't give you any... Yeah, sometimes we want to be the best that we could possibly be without knowing how it affects our children. Y'all got to be mindful of the things that y'all do and say to your kids. They pick up on everything. These kids are smart. These kids are smart. The deeper rooted message in this man, he was, he was trying so hard not to be like his father. And he turned out to be just like his father. I'm so sick of this pie guy, like for real. What good is he to the community besides sugar diabetes? <laughs> Hi, everybody. If you're worried about us jumping all over you for losing that game for us, forget it. Yeah, the coach said making fun of the guys on sportsmen. Finally, we teach a sportsmanship. Pass protection, 86 on go. Hey, he got the plays down. Okay, he going for the long... Uh Yo, this kid got an arm. He has an arm on him. He like, the last time I had the ball in my hand, I messed up. I'm scared. Yo, they tackling it. They tackling this team. <laughs> This is such a movie. This is such a Disney movie. Like, oh my God. No one, like his parents don't notice that's the bike that they bought. They so worried about the football game. They don't even know that the kid got his bike. Like, come on. That's messed up. Thank you. You could have drowned him, but that's okay. It's about time you stood up for him. Yeah, I'll be right back. Bro, don't go back to the thought. Have we not learned anything? She chose up. Forget her. Gotcha. All right, beef. Nice dress, Judy. Ugh. I'm so sick of her. I'm so sick of her. That man take better care of his bike than he does his teeth. That's crazy. Even though I'm playing football, it might still be okay for you to read to me now and then, wouldn't it? Of course, Beads. Of course. Hey, Dad, I really like the way you read to me. You wouldn't be sucking up again, would you, son? Oh, no, Dad. It's still a while till Christmas. Ha! <laughs> So I think the lesson that we need to take away from Leave It to Beaver is talk to your damn kids. Like, for real, the whole movie, the dad was uninformed with a lot of things. Even the mom, she didn't even know what was going on. Talk to your kid. They out here having orgies you don't even know about. Like, talk to them, having parties. Just have a conversation with them, sit down, and get to know what's going on in their life, you know? So that way, if, if you do have to see a shrink, it's not information that you didn't know before you got there, you know? It's not getting exposed as you guys are sitting there talking. And then another one. For my fellas out there, don't tell your boys about putting you up on game with a woman because he's liable to take her. It's free game. It's free game. And for my women out there, I understand why you choose up if the dude that you picked was a bum. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was my Leave it to Beaver Saturday commentary video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Um, more videos coming. Like I said, um, I, I, this was a shift from the, the, the rom-coms and the chick flicks that I was doing, so I may stick on this path. I don't know. We'll see what I do next week, but stay tuned. More Saturday commentaries are coming. Um, I might throw in a couple throughout the week, but we'll see. You know, for right now, it's just Saturdays. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video, man. I'm out this thing.